Hey, hi everybody, Evan here. Um, as the sun sets in Hawaii, the light was pretty good and I wanted to get a, another book review out to you guys. So last night I read The Free Agent Lifestyle and it's by a guy named Greg Adams who happened to be a, um, a college women's college basketball coach for, for many years, personal trainer for many years, and now he is a motivational uh, uh, trainer as well. Um, his background also included a uh, fitness trainer and stuff like that. So he has in-depth knowledge of women and um, he wrote this book called The Free Agent Lifestyle, Men's Guide to Peace, Quiet, and Freedom. And it's a short read. It's about 103 pages, as I recall. And so I just knocked it out. Um, it, was, it was good. It was entertaining. And what he talks about in here as being the free agent lifestyle, he starts it off by, by um, drawing a comparison between sports free agents and um, lifestyle, like a, like a free agent lifestyle. So sports free agents generally have a lot more leverage than a contracted sports player because um, they are paid for what they are worth. They are, they are able to move around freely and go where they want to go. Um, and, and have more leverage because of that. They're not bound by a contract and they're, not, they're, they're less scrutinized as well because of that. So he starts off by, by talking about a free agency and describing what it is. And then he, he starts talking about the penance of living a free agent lifestyle for the everyday person. So the penance is like to keep yourself unchained to have little or no commitments to others, um, free from debt and irresponsible spending, freedom from banks, and then basically to, your power to decide what, who, if you go see somebody, what you spend your money on, who you spend your time with, and um, basically create your own personal frame of reference that revolves around what makes you happy, not what makes um, other people or women in particular happy. So, interesting book. Um, I've, I've read a lot of different other uh, authors as well. And um, this one, if there's a spectrum of um, authors that are talking about the manosphere or, or red pill, blue pill um, philosophies and stuff like that nowadays, I would say that... that um, Rolo Tomasi and those guys are very scientific about it. They're kind of down the middle. Um, Rich would be a little bit off to the right a little bit. I love his style. This guy, this author, um, Greg Adams, is a little bit more off to the side because he's talking about like having no commitments to anybody except yourself. And I can see the validation in that. I, it, you know, I can see that it's valid. But I can also internally, and maybe it's just my awakening still happening, internally, that's, that's pretty challenging for me to do, to not have any commitments to anybody else. That, that's, that's kind of far right to me on that one. Um, but I do agree with a lot of the other stuff he says in this, like to not box yourself in. There's no need for, in my opinion, for marriage these days. Um, there's just, especially for men, there's just way too much risk um, involved with it, exposure and risk. And um, I've been through two of them, and they, it sucks getting a divorce. The absolute lowest of the lows happened for Pepend for me, and I'm going through one right now, almost done. And it takes a lot out of me, man. So you know that's one of the big things. Don't box yourself in, um, and that includes with jobs. Like create your own business. You know, become financially independent. It's totally possible. Then he talks about like uh, going solo. Like it's okay to go to the movies by yourself. It's okay to go hiking by yourself. Do stuff alone. Travel. Experience the world by yourself. Um, in be, before, I used to kind of think like I want to go with other people to share the experience. But then, but then everything kind of has to revolve around other people's schedules as well. I can't just go and be light and hit it. You know what I mean? So. I agree with that. Going solo is great. There, I, I also would say that there there are times where I do want to be around other people for the sake of just 
you know, the people that I enjoy being around. It's just a lot more, not a lot more fun. It's just sharing in an experience that's unique and powerful is good. Um, this one was huge, is that prioritize your life. Your life is your life. Nobody should be dictating whether or not you buy guns or you like to ride motorcycles or you like to do whatever it is you like to do. So make your life, yourself a priority. Your health and self-care and stuff like that has to be a priority. Um, self-care is a big one. You know, if you want to get a massage, get them. Um, lifting weights, reading the right stuff, being around positive people that uplift you, uh, that, <clears throat> that, that, that inspire, all of these things. The thing too is to be financially independent. And he uses a different term in this thing. I don't want to, he says, F bitches get money. And I agree. At this stage of my life, I have provided and given up so much of my finances to to women that don't appreciate it. And now it's my turn. I'm over it. I'm, I'm, uh, I wouldn't say I'm over women, but I'm just, I'm over supporting and giving away my, my finances, you know? I'm gonna, I wanna make more, I wanna help more people. And I, I wanna help more people so that I can do more things for more people without giving my money away to someone who I'm dating or married to. It's just, I'm not into it anymore because I'm into peace, <laughs> I'm into a good, clean heart, I am into a clear, quiet, calm mind. And he talks about this in the book. I am into freedom, I want more freedom, less drama. I wanna be optimized physically, mentally, spiritually. He talks about these things. So this is a good book, it's a good guide for, it's a, I would say it's a good book for a flight. You know, if you want to just get on a plane and read, um, this would be a good one. So, right on, Greg. Thank you for your book. He, oh, by the way, Greg has no freaking idea who I am um, or my channel or anything. But I really appreciate the guys, all you guys and gals out there that are subscribing and supporting me um, with the content that I just put out. I never do any kind of takes or anything like that. It's just one shot and I nail it out. And so, I apologize for the roughness, but it is what it is. And for the people that know me out there, um, I mean, I am pretty, pretty real. <laughs> if I could swear on this thing, I would a lot more, but I don't want to be cutting my own throat on YouTube before it even gets started. So love you guys. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you soon. Aloha.